Well, it's finally cooled off tonight. I'd say it's down to 80s. And it feels really nice outside and we have a good sunset. I think it's a good time to walk around the garden and see what's happening. On the tree, we've got blooms everywhere. But it's weird because you cannot smell the tree. Ooh, there's a bloom I can pick now though. You can't smell the tree from the ground, even though it smells wonderful. I can't smell it. Um, not a lot's blooming right now. We're kind of between. This is good for me because I need to know. I've got snapdragons. I've got geraniums in full bloom. The only hydrangea in my yard in full bloom right now, and I really need to move this guy out front because this is my favorite kind. It looks pink on screen, but I've got a whole slew of blue ones back there. And blue ones are my favorite. Boring hydrangea here coming into bloom. It's just white at this point. I don't know if it's going to turn lavender, but it's not round. It's very flat. I'm going to go check out my David Austin looking rose. Let's go here. I've made hardly any progress. These are black walnut volunteers from the tree across the street. And I gotta have to get in here and really do some damage. Oh, oh, I missed it. Well, that's really sad. So I missed the bloom on this tree. I didn't even see it. Isn't that sad? And there's nothing here. It's done. So I guess I'm gonna give this a small prune back. Because uh, I didn't see it at all. We just have really nice rose hips and tips. Granted, I was gone for a week last week, so maybe last week was the time. Uh, now let's go wandering over here. Um, I have a very sad um, honeysuckle. It's this one. Gold flame. I wanted this to do some basketry with. The uh, dogwood Funnily enough, it's just finishing. It's crazy that it's lasted so long. But isn't it really cool how as dusk comes on that you really see the white? I need to put some more white in the garden, I think. And then, um, oh, you're going to like this. These are all white. We have sweet peas. See the sweet peas right here? Oh, and i got a car coming at me. I'm going to smell them. There, you want to smell them? Oh, they smell really good. That, one, that one's got a spicy scent. And then here is this. This is a trumpet vine. Love, love, love trumpet vines. So I can't wait to get something on that. Here's more of the dogwoods. Just finishing up. Just petals kind of hanging out. A little hanging on. All right. Now, these guys are coming on. Um, Echinacea. Just getting started. They actually don't look super healthy. But it really, I really need a fertilizer in here. And then I have this lovely, uh, Grayson got this, I don't know what it's called, but um, sort of a little golden daisies. Huh, I thought I wasn't blooming, but I am blooming. This is done, this is done. This all needs so much work. So, so much work. Um, Home, by the way. Oh, thanks. We're working on it. I don't know what, uh, I can't remember what this is called. And I don't know what this is. What's this little guy in here? I really like him. There's this little thing. I don't know what this is, but it's got like a purple flower, purple pinky flower stuck on it. Don't know what that is. If you know what that is, let me know. <coughs> weeds, weeds. Oh, oh, hydrangeas are coming on. Just the pods. At least I got these done early. All right, it's time to go over into the shady garden. I think my orchids are all done, but they are still very happy. They're all the way back. Uh, oh, I'm about to get something here. Oh, it's a uh, bloom on this guy. Uh, I can't think of the name of that one either, but I do know that one. And I'll go to the strawberry in just a minute. All of, I don't know if you can see this in the dark. Nope, I think we're too dark down here. There's a whole bunch of white blooms on the uh, rock garden that has yet to be planted that stays here and is happy because it's being watered, even though it's just in pots. And then 
Grayson's pride and joy. We have berries. Now the question will be: Do the crows let us Mama have them? Oh, look, we have babies. Oops. Go back. Look, you've got two yeah, babies there, 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 there. Whoops, oops, all the way back there. So we're gonna have to manhandle these and figure out a home for these. Ooh, love in the mist. Oh, yay! So this is love in the mist. It's coming on. Oh, look. And we have, oh, we have blooms coming in this. I think I must have put ooh, some ooh, some ooh. wildflowers in here. I got flowers coming in here. These are zinnias. And these are, um, mm, can't think of the name of them. My brain is toast sometimes. Um, but this is Love in the Mist, and I didn't think I was getting any of that, so I'm super excited. I don't remember what that is, but I'm happy to see it. This dirt is near devoid of nutrition. Yes, so this is this very is nutrient devoid. I fertilized dirt. this one. You, yeah, you did a better job on that than well, I did I the didn't rest. Do the other one at all. These are all baby these carrots. Ones I did. Baby carrots coming on here, so I'm going to have to thin these pretty soon. And then these are our contraband British potatoes. Oh my God. Uh, I need to add some more dirt actually, because these can get buried quite deep to the top. I could probably go up to the top now. So we'll see if we how many potatoes we These get. Definitely originated within the United States. And then mint, which we have been using Fourth of July. Yeah, we made we, a we mean. We really need to thin it though. A mean mojito. Yeah, we need to nope. give it a good cut. Nope, we made pimps cups. Pimps cups. Sorry. And then the onions are happy, which is probably the item we use out of the garden the most. Oh, I'm blooming on my Japanese lanterns. So see, I have blooms here, and I didn't think this was going to survive, so I'm really happy about that. And then beans. I think these are bush beans. Somebody gave them to me. Kathy gave them to me. I threw them in the ground. And I was a little worried they weren't going to come up. The snapdragons. Oh, actually, let's have a little chat about the snapdragons. So, Grayson is very heartbroken. You, when your snap, snapdragons bolt like this, you got to you gotta deadhead them. And I wish I had scissors. But you got to take them down. Because all of these seed pods are robbing nutrients from the bush. And you aren't going to get any more, more blooms. More snapdragons. So, well, I don't mind having these in the beds. These have to come off, and then this is okay because they're just a few, but then it'll all rebloom. So, this has got to come off. That one's gone already. This one's got to come off. That one's got to come off. And I'm, I'm not very nice. I'm throwing them in the middle. I really should be taking these to the compost heap, but this one's got to come off. This one. This one. Yeah, oh no, I planted more, and they're being eaten. Now I know why my nasturtiums didn't come up, because somebody's eating them. Do you like the slugs here? <sighs> this guy's bolting. I'm going to knock him out. Oh, there's a feather in the bed. Oh, that? no, I think I put that there. Let me see. Where is it? Down there, the little one. Oh, then no, I didn't. Oh, I saw a little chickadee in here. This one's coming off. This one's coming off. I'll leave him. Uh... This one, I'll just take one on that one. These guys have to come off. And deadheading is super important. Can you grab that last guy over there? It needs to come off. Uh, that's okay. Only, we, only. Ooh, sticky, sticky, sticky. Oh, all right. Grayson wants to show you why a snapdragon is called a snapdragon. Oh, that one's not doing a very good job there. Hi, Mo. How are you? <laughs> I, I, didn't I do that to you all the time yep. when you were little? Yeah. Why do you think I planted the snapdragon? <laughs> Grayson has a fond spot for snap. I planted them because every time I come out here, I can go. Hello, how are you? <laughs> the cool thing about snapdragons, this is why Grayson got to see this, is whenever we went to the UK in December, Jean always had some blooming That's in her yard why I still. Like it so much. <laughs> and so I would pick one, and we would have a little puppet show with the snapdragons. All right, and then the final flowering item in the garden is this beautiful from Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Beautiful display of orangey red um, geraniums. And these guys you have to deadhead too. And yes, it can be painful. You have to pull them before they're done. But see how most of these are dead? I gotta get those out so that it reblooms. Some of gone already. Yeah, they're, they're, they're up. There's a, see, there's new guys in here. So we're giving them room to burst forth. But deadheading is important if you want your stuff to look tidy and keep blooming and not go to seed. Did you get the sweet peas? Yes, I did. There's another one. Boy, I'm behind this one. This one's a bit far gone. And there's a break. There's a really obvious break point at the beginning. You can do it with your fingers. 
Or you can, oop, I just pulled a good guy off. There. Anything else? Oh, that one needs it. It's more over here. And yeah, it looks thinner. I've really thinned this out, but in two days, three days, this will burst forth again. And then I'll we'll take that guy. Come on, out. And there's a guy hiding down here. And that guy's all dead in the center. There. So there's my dead boys. And then that's what's remaining. Now this poor little girl. Uh-oh, I need Grayson to... need my lighting assistant. This little girl, her water fell out while I was gone. And for a week, this little darling didn't get water and nobody noticed. So when I got home, I was like, what is going on here? This isn't healthy. And I discovered that her water pipe had just been watering the the bricks and not her and so uh, she's in a little sad shape and she hasn't grown as much which I think is interesting now the other issue could be the dirt but I think it's water there so I've pulled her off this is slotted to be my mother boxwood I have rooting compound and dreams that I'll root a hundred of these up have I done that yet it might take five years oh I have not <laughs> so that is a little nighttime walk around the garden I hope you, like me, realize that white is a nice thing to add to your garden in the dark. Um, in fact, I'm going to turn you around. Palm trees have not been very happy. These guys here that were on the porch last year as a centerpiece, and then I had plants around them. So this year, one, I think they need some more fertilizer, and two, they've been, they've, they've gotten a little sun scorched. So I need to get them further up the porch, and I need to get them some more water. And I believe I'm going to go underplant some weeding. whites yeah there's some weeding that needs to be done i'm going to underplant some whites so that when we're out here on our porch for porch life in the evenings ignore those cushions those cushions go on these two chairs but when it sprinkles or when i'm worried it might rain at any point i bring them up on the porch but this is where we have porch life now you've got a shot of grace in there but and then whenever we have porch life, we hashtag porch life and send a picture out on the social medias. All right, that's it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, I'm going to I'm just going to take it out with the view and the sunset. I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed, do so. Give us a like, give us a comment. How's your gardening doing in the heat? Today it hit 100. So, uh, hopefully yours is doing well as well. Um, and I'll see you in upcoming episodes one with my needle lace which I have I found finally in my packing and two with more projects knitting crochet tatting bobbin lace gardening home fix it a whole bunch of stuff sewing um, I know on the weekend I'm doing some Edwardian underwear so I'll do some shots from that anyway bye